Welcome to this presentation. My name is Judy and thank you for joining me. Let's find out how our politicians have betrayed us. Now is the time to start talking politics because Australia is in a critical situation. Let us get informed, do your research and find out what is really going on. We live in exciting but challenging times with our country at a crossroads in its history with relentless attacks on our values and sovereignty. Did you know that our politicians have betrayed us? Politics is no longer about left or right. It is now about what is right and wrong. Professional politicians in the major parties have ruined our country. What have we been voting for? Collapsing manufacturing? Damaging education? Weird gender ideologies? Denial of free speech, full-term abortion. Let's talk about weird gender ideologies. I recently had a bone density test and on the form I filled out, it had female, male and other. Why other? Aren't we either male or female? What is happening here? It's being taught in schools and causing confusion, stress and division between parent and child relationships. Denial of free speech. Censorship is happening all the time. Look at our television news. If you listen with a critical thinking mind, you will hear the biased and repetitive reporting. Now, full-term abortion. This may come as a shock to some people. Did you know this bill was recently passed in South Australia? Are you aware there is a legal and illegal global trade in body parts, particularly babies. An aborted baby is treated as medical waste. I will not go into the procedure that occurs in full-time abortion as it is just too horrific and stressful. However, research yourself and you will wonder how any human being could support this bill. This should never happen, but it has. Our politicians pass this bill. It is disgraceful. So what else have we been voting for? Suspect political donations, family court suicides, globalist influence, voter fraud, centrelink fraud, failed water management. Let's look at these suspect political donations. The big donations, politicians, can be the beginning of the infiltration for control by the globalists. And this is how corruption begins. The bigger the donation, the bigger the risk. Blackmail, bribery, coercion, coercion, manipulation. It's all about the money. Now there is a globalist influence. The global elites, they are the 1% who own and control the world. Do you realise that currently, at the time of this presentation, that the 1% global elites hold 48% of the world's total wealth? Yes, 48%. These are very disturbing facts for Australia and the world. Let's talk a moment about the richest people in the world and our collapsing economy. I will quote you some information that I received recently from The Guardian, 20th of December 2020, and it says, 10 of the richest people in the world have boosted their already vast wealth by more than $400 billion dollars since the coronavirus pandemic began, as their businesses were boosted by lockdowns and financial crisis across the globe. While many small businesses have been hit hard by the pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression of the 1930s, Amazon shares have increased by 90% since March 2020. Jeff Bezos, the founder and former chief executive of Amazon, has watched his wealth rocket by $70 billion since March 2020 to a record $185 billion, allowing the wealth of a tiny few to explode while hundreds of millions suffer is nothing short of a dereliction of duty. That is the duty of our government's inaction on widening inequality. So let's take a look at failed water management. Why do individuals or corporations own water licences that indirectly destroy our Australian farmers? A friend of mine had an amazing asparagus farm 
and had to close the business because of huge water price increases. Why is our water governed by individuals and foreign owners and our farmers are closing down? Why is our government not taking care of Australian farmers? Did you vote for any of this? I've heard so many people say they don't vote for anyone as they don't like any of the major political parties. Now, I've felt that myself. But times are changing and we need to take more responsibility for what is happening to our country because Australia's future looks bleak. We are under attack from foreign powers and ideologies aided and abetted by traitors in our parliament and public service. We are also under attack from compromised judges in our courts and ineffectual police running our constabulary. Remember, it is the Australian people, you and me, who pay for and subsidise these institutions. These institutions have been so corrupted that they no longer serve Australia but themselves, foreigners and other special interests. We are losing the battle. And you may be asking, why? Because most Australians cannot see the threat. Those who see what is going on and speak out are severely outnumbered, maligned, defamed and silenced, censored by labelling them conspiracy theorists. Let's talk about conspiracy theorists. Anything that goes against mainstream media narrative, that is a globalist narrative, even by well-credentialed professionals, they are called conspiracy theorists. On the left it says, truth does not mind being questioned. A lie does not like being challenged. We must save Australia. Every generation of Australians has a role to defend what is good and to defeat that which is a threat to us, our way of life and our country. So you may be asking, how do we save Australia? So let me introduce to you Ricardo Bosi. He is a published author and speaker, international business consultant, former Australian Army Special Forces Lieutenant Colonel and the creator of the new political party, Australia One. Ricardo Bosi is one of a team of patriots who are creating a new political party for which they expect to attract membership and support for those quiet Australians, just like me, who no longer trust any of the major political parties. Now, I was very fortunate to meet Ricardo on the 10th of April when he did a presentation for Adelaide. He is strong and committed dedicated and courageous, with a wealth of knowledge and expertise to bring accountability to the government and truth to the people of Australia. So how will Australia One save Australia? Ensure that Australians remain sovereign, self-reliant and an honest democracy, which is economically powerful and militarily intimidating politically free, culturally vibrant and socially cohesive. We need to stop political corruption, take back our ports and farms, protect our free speech, ban 5G until proven safe. Now let's look at this political corruption because Australia One says, our primary responsibility is to return the control of Australia to the Australian people. Now, this statement by Australia One is huge, so we need to take responsibility and become aware of what is happening to our country. Take back our ports and farms. How many times have we read that our farms are now foreign owned? Our port of Darwin has been leased to foreigners. Our industry, manufacturing and food is going overseas. Do we want to be a third world country? We are heading that way and fast. We need to support affordable and reliable power generation, have stronger child protection laws, remove gender ideology from schools and protect 
our vulnerable people. Now take a look at this child getting stronger child protection laws. Do you know about the 90-year suppression order? Senator Bill Heffernan produced a police document listing the names of 28 alleged VIP pedophiles, including prominent people, judges, and even a former Prime Minister. This list has been hidden from you, the Australian people, by a 90-year suppression order established by a previous Prime Minister. It's time to get it lifted. Why should they be above the law? On the link provided, you will hear Senator Bill Heffernan's address to the Senate Committee and so much more. So please take a look at that video. Australia One is the only party I know that has taken a strong stand against the corruption of pedophilia. We need to protect our children. And believe me, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We need to build an army. Our nation needs decent men and women who are willing to commit to a cause greater than themselves, to fight for our best future, to fight for your family, your community and your nation. We, the people, elect our politicians. We need to be very vigilant about who we give our power to. Australia One has high standards and as Ricardo says, we are fighting a war. Even if people are unaware, we need to be vigilant and committed to finding the truth and do something about it. All those people who are disgruntled about our current politicians now have a party they can vote for. Australia One is the party that is working with the people and for the people. Now is the time to step up, rise to this challenge, get involved in your community, have your say in local government, state government and federal government. Now, I was never really interested in politics before, but I am inspired now and I feel confident after looking at the policies and having the strong leadership of Australia One, we have the opportunity to make a difference to save Australia. And you ask, where to from here? There is a link below this presentation to help you do your own research. There's more information available on the AustraliaOneParty.com. Please fill out the online form and register your interest. And you can also find us on Gab. So you ask, what's next? You can become a supporter and attend our monthly meetings. Share ideas and mix with like-minded people. You and I, together, we can make a difference. What about you? Have you ever thought you could be a new breed of politician, a local, state or federal government? You might be thinking, what is a new breed of politician? Well, a new breed of politician is one who is honest, has integrity, is passionate, is very motivated, patriotic for Australia and wants change. A politician who cares about our communities and our country thriving. This could be you, or maybe someone you know. Then Australia One is your party. Become a supporter. Any Australian citizen can become a politician. We will provide you with training and support. Join us as we work to create our best future for Australia and its people. Australia One is your party. So please choose very carefully who you vote for at the next election. And remember that A1 is here to save Australia. Even though we are in a time of turmoil, we need to stay connected, help each other and raise awareness together. Then I can say for sure, you will be proud to say to your family, friends and even your grandchildren that you helped save Australia. But just before you go, you may be wondering why I am doing this presentation. A while ago now, I realised that our government is not looking after Australians. Our food chain 
industries, manufacturing, farms were being sold to foreign owners and we know this is just not right. Then I saw an interview on Facebook about a year ago with Dougal from Carnage House Production speaking with Ricardo Bosi, who was talking about some very interesting topics and in particular the pipeline, which is the Bradfield Scheme. It's to bring water from Queensland down through New South Wales, right through to South Australia. So I'm thinking there is no need for our farmers to lose their farms. This was the first time I had heard someone speaking about so many important issues that we, did, we don't even think about. I was so impressed, I thought, Australia needs someone with strong leadership qualities, just like Ricardo Bosi and his policies, to lead Australia out of this corruption that we find ourselves in now. You can find that video on the website, so please go and take a look. So I began my own research and started to meet like-minded people who were questioning everything and wanted truthful answers. I filled out the form on the website, australiaoneparty.com, and decided to join the South Australian Supporters Group. I got my Working with Children certificate, and I feel that I am now on a very positive mission, very meaningful and fulfilling, to help the future generations of Australians live in freedom. So I invite you to join me and do the same. You can verify all this information and do your own research. Check out all the videos on the website and the links below this video. Share this message with your friends, your family, your neighbours, and let's work together to save Australia. Thank you for joining me and thank you to Australia One for approving this presentation. Goodbye for now.